In this video, we'll give a quick overview of the Bill Spend and Expense platform for spenders. Your first step should be to download the Bill Spend and Expense mobile app onto your phone. Once your company account has been created, your Bill Spend and Expense admin will send you an email invite to set your password and get signed into your account. It's best to do this sooner rather than later, or at least before the invitation expires. The first time you sign in, you'll add your phone number and we'll send you a five digit code to enter in order to verify your identity. For security purposes, you may also be prompted to add other personal information, such as your birth date or social security number. Once you're signed in, you'll activate your physical Bill Divi corporate card. Start by tapping activate card in the app and entering the last four digits of your physical card number. Alternatively, you can call or text your card number to the phone number on the sticker to activate your card, but you'll still need the mobile app later to complete transactions and manage other important tasks. It usually takes seven to 14 days for your card to arrive. In the meantime, you can use a virtual card to spend. Depending on your company's setup, you may already have your first virtual card created for you. If not, we'll show you how to create one later in this video. Whether you have activated your physical card or are getting started with virtual cards, there's still an important step to take. You have to be added to a budget and given funds from a budget owner in order to spend anything with your cards. That means if you haven't been added to a budget or given funds, your card won't work. This is what it will look like if you haven't been added to a budget and can't spend yet. Ask your budget manager or bill spend and expense admin to add you to a budget. Here's what it will look like when you have one or more budgets added. This is the name of the budget and how much you can spend from that budget using your physical or virtual cards. And this is where you can see the policy for the budget you're using. The policy helps tell you what you can use this budget for and what you can't. Remember, if you try to use your card out of this set policy, your card will decline. Now, once you have budgets to spend, make sure you select the budget you want to use before you swipe your physical card. This way, your purchase can be tracked. But don't worry, if you forget to select the right budget, you can always edit a transaction to match it with the correct budget after your purchase. When you need money, you can request it in seconds. Just select the appropriate budget, enter the amount, and add a reason for the request. Send it out, and once it's approved by your manager, you'll see a push notification letting you know that your request has been granted. Once you've been added to a budget and given funds, you can start spending with your physical or virtual cards. From the home screen, you'll see your Bill Divi corporate card matched with an active budget and amount available on the card. You can change how much is on the card and which budget your next purchase will fall under by tapping here. Same physical card, different budgets. Now here's the really cool part. Within seconds of making your purchase, you'll get a notification letting you know what additional details are needed to complete your transaction. Tap on the notification to quickly categorize and upload your receipt. Completing your transaction with a few steps on the mobile app like this means you don't have to fill out an expense report at the end of the month. So much easier, right? Now here are a few more helpful tips to get you spending like a champ. From the transactions tab, you can see and edit all of your past transactions or complete them if you didn't do that initially. You can also create virtual cards from the virtual cards tab. Just tap add card, name your card, then choose the budget you'd like it to pull funds from. Each virtual card you create will be tied to one of your specific budgets. Unlike your physical card, you can't switch between budgets after you've created your virtual card. As we talked about earlier, virtual cards are great for when you need to start spending but are waiting for your physical card to arrive but they're also favorites for online payments, one-time payments, and recurring vendor payments, because you can create as many virtual cards as you need. Many spenders create a card for each vendor so they can easily replace a card if it becomes compromised. You can also easily add your virtual card to your Apple Wallet. Just tap Add to Wallet under the virtual card you'd like to add. We'll automatically pre-fill your card information into your Apple Wallet. After a few taps, all you need to do is agree to the terms and conditions, then verify your card. Then you're ready to use our virtual cards for Apple Pay. Finally, here are just a few things that are good to know while you're using bill spend and expense. If your physical bill Divi corporate card is ever misplaced, you can quickly hop over to more, select replace your card and follow the instructions. And if you ever need help with your card or the app, you can tap help and an associate will respond to you within minutes. Thanks for learning more about the world of bill spend and expense where expense reports are a thing of the past.